Hello everyone, my name is Blaze, and welcome to a scary horror uh, anima animation. So, since today is Halloween, I figured it would be a great time to react to some scary uh, horror stories. So we're, today we're going to be reacting to three real, real scary Halloween horror stories by Horror Shorts Party. So, without further ado, here we go. Happened in the Halloween in 2011. My friends and I were doing South Park costumes to go trick or treating together. I was Stan, so it was literally just my name. Max was Kenny because he was the one who got messed with the most. And Jeff was Carpenter because he was the chubbiest in the group. We were missing someone to be Kyle, but we couldn't get anyone to agree to be him because most people we knew hadn't even watched South Park. Despite that, it was shaping up to be a great night for trick or treating. I had been noticing that many of our neighbors had gone all out on their decorations, but I hoped that they saved money for their candy budget. Yep. Plus, we were off school the next day, so we could stay out pretty much as late as we wanted. Oh, nice. I had gotten in my costume and was right about to step out the door when my mom stopped me and told me- You know, I, I like, I've watched South Park, like, a lot, and it's just, re it's a really funny show and everything, so, um, I never, like, once dressed as, you know, like, whenever I was a kid, I never once dressed up as, as, uh, stuff like that. I, I dressed up, like, as the Ghost Rider, and I think, uh, I dressed up as the Grim Reaper at one point. Um, but I'm, I'm, since I'm older now, I don't do it anymore, but I just, I buy the candy for the sake of it, you know? So, anyway, let's keep going. I bring my little sister with me. I, of course, found this annoying as hell. I wasn't trying to babysit her while trick or treating with the boys. I told my mom all this, but she demanded I take her with me. I don't know why she or my dad couldn't take her trick or treating on her own, but they must have had plans I didn't know about. Either way, I didn't have a choice. When I arrived at the meeting with my little sister, I could visibly. Oh dang! Wow, it's like after, like it's like after your kids leave, you know, you, you, you know, you have time to yourself, which. I'm not gonna get into it, but anyway, let's continue. We see that my friends were just as annoying. We considered making her go up to houses separately from us, but I didn't want anything bad happening to her since it was pretty dark out. I realized that just like with my mom, I didn't have any choice in the matter, so we decided to just have her annoyingly tag along. After settling that, we got started trick-or-treating. A lot of the houses had really spooky decorations, which really shine on Halloween yeah, night. That made it more fun and felt like it balanced out being stuck with my sister. The candy hall was also above average, which was an extra bonus. However, we were never allowed to forget that my sister was there. Every time a door opened and we were about to say trick or treat, she would jump through the air in front of us and scream it at the top of her lungs in a really high-pitched voice. Trick or treat! <sighs> trick or treat. It felt annoying and embarrassing as hell. I felt like if the candy and decorations hadn't made up for it, my sister would have basically ruined Halloween for me and my friends. As time went on, more and more houses started turning off their porch lights. Houses that were still giving out candy were getting harder to come by. There weren't many people still out either. It was almost time to call it a night. But soon after, we saw a group of people running down the street toward us. I've got three card releases you don't want to miss in the Twisted Tail season. Let's check them out. First up, we've got another new... We saw a group of people running down the street toward us. They were screaming, but we had no idea why. They ended up running right past us without giving any reason, so we shrugged it off. We assumed it had to be someone's costume or something creepy they must have seen up the street, so we decided to check it out. At the next intersection, no, we looked around and saw that down the street to the right was a single house that still had their light on. It was really dim and flickered a bit. There was a lit jack-o'-lantern on the steps. They were probably still giving out candy, 
That's when we all started walking toward the house. No! When we made it to the front, I remembered hearing something weird. It sounded like a small motorcycle engine, but I didn't see any bikes on the road. Suddenly, a man wearing a Leatherface costume jumped out of the bushes right in front of us. We all screamed as he read the chainsaw. We then sprinted away in different directions as the man came after us. I ran for my life for about five seconds before looking back over my shoulder. That's when I saw that my sister was running down the middle of the road toward the intersection. I started to yell at her, but before I could form the words, the unthinkable happened. I... I saw a car come speeding from the left side, and... And one moment after it came into view, it collided with my... my sister. She was dragged under the car and carried off. I stopped running instantly, frozen in shock. Tears were streaming down my face profusely, and the world was fading away from me. Max eventually came up and snapped me out of it, and that's when I broke down completely. The man who scared us was the one who called 911. The cops came and arrested the driver of the car, and my sister was taken to the hospital in an ambulance. Unfortunately, that's the last time I saw her. She didn't make it. The driver claims he wasn't at fault and claims my sister ran into his vehicle without signaling or anything. However, the man who scared us, on the other hand, is being sued into the ground by my parents. He keeps saying that he was only trying to have fun by scaring trick-or-treaters for Halloween and talking about how he's remorseful, but remorse won't bring my sister back to life. I still haven't felt the same since it happened. I keep replaying the moment in my head, thinking about what I could have done differently. It was such a freak accident that if any one thing were changed about the circumstances, my sister would still be alive. Sadly, nothing can be done to change the past. I only wish I had been nicer to my sister on the last night of her life. The story was inspired by a horrific Halloween incident that took place in 2011. It's always been known that some people take their Halloween spirit a bit too far. We all know the ones. The ones where you never know if the guy in a rocking chair is real or a decoration. A man named Frank Alba took this to a whole new level when he decided to dress up in a bloody apron with a real chainsaw and hide in the bushes on the Halloween of 2011. He knew he was in the direct path of trick-or-treaters coming home from trick-or-treating. And sure enough, a group soon walked by. Alba then jumped out of the bushes and revved the chainsaw, sending the trick-or-treaters screaming. Unfortunately, one of the trick-or-treaters named Leslie Garcia ran into a busy road and was hit by a car. The family has since sued as the girl sustained permanent injuries and trauma, but the results of the lawsuit are unclear. Oh my god. Oh my god. Jesus. I can't even imagine facing that, like literally. Having your, like, like, seriously, like, if you're an older sibling, and you have a younger, like, si brother or sister, you got to be more protect, like, literally, like, keep an eye for them and not have them run off. But that's just me. I'm just saying that. But, oh, my God. Just, ah, uh, just have, having that happen, like, right in front of you and just, like, experiencing that, that's sad. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Anyway, let's continue on to the next one. Oh. This is number two. True real life strangers. I was alone on Halloween this year. My wife was on a three day long business trip, leaving the house and all the trick or treaters to me. I bought two bags of candy since my neighborhood gets a lot of foot traffic on Halloween. I made it home from work around 6 p.m. with just enough time to settle in and get ready for the trick or treaters. As usual, it started off at dusk with a bunch of kids and their parents. Trick or treat. Eventually, around 10.30, there were barely any kids left on the street since it was a school night. Once I passed out my last piece of candy, I turned off my porch light and locked the door. Then I went to bed upstairs. About half an hour later, I heard a knock. I rolled my eyes and ignored it, figuring it was someone messing around or someone too stupid to realize what the unlit porch light means. After a few seconds, they knocked again, even louder. Now I was mad. I had just been on the verge of falling asleep, just to be woken up by some stupid kid. 
Suddenly, an insane loud bang rang through the house. I knew whoever was at my front door was either in dire need of something or just some prick with nothing better to do. I was weirded the hell out seeing as it was late as hell. I then made my way downstairs and checked through the peephole. All I remember seeing was that it was pitch black outside, but I could see a person that looked like a woman. She was wearing what must have been the creepiest mask oh, I had ever seen, no. but the rest of her clothes were plain. I wondered if she was even in a costume, but the bag in her hand made it seem like she was a trick-or-treater, despite clearly being a fully grown woman. She gave me a weird feeling, but I didn't feel very threatened by a single woman, so I decided to talk to her. Is Tamara home? Uh, no, I, I think you have the wrong house. Are you sure? Yes, I'm sure. Trick or treat? Uh, hey, I don't have any candy left. You're too late. <sighs> Look, I don't know what you're doing out here on your own, but I think you're a little too old to be trick or treating. You should go home. She just turned the other way and walked off into the darkness. I shut the door and locked it before any other creepy thing could happen. As I went back upstairs, Sorry I shrug the- Sorry about that, guys. My girlfriend was texting me. So, I did text her, so. Interaction off as a college student going around and trying to freak people out on Halloween. I wouldn't have given her the credit personally, but if that were the case, it worked on me. I wanted to sleep it off, but it's- What I had? I wanted to sleep it off, but as soon as I got into bed, I heard someone knocking on the door again. I shouted at them from upstairs to go away, but they only banged on the door even louder. Oh. I marched downstairs in a rage, expecting to open the door and see the same woman, ready to chew her out for making me lose some sleep. But I opened the door to something much worse. There were two more people standing outside with her, wearing the similar unsettling masks. I instantly knew I'd made a mistake. If oh, I had checked no. the peephole again, I never would have opened the door to these strangers. Something oh, about no. them was terrifying. They lifted up the three empty bags and asked in unison, Trick or treat! I don't have any candy, you freaks! Get the hell away from me! Suddenly, the man in the middle rushed forward and grabbed me by the neck, trying to force his way through the door. Ah! Someone help! my ground and kept a tight grip on the door, but the two other women also crammed themselves into the doorway and pushed against me. I summoned all the fight I had and kicked the woman as hard as I could, shoving her back into the other woman behind her. She tripped and fell backwards with her, leaving me in a one-on-one -on -one with the man strangling me. I planted my foot behind me and threw him out onto the porch on top of the other two. Then I slammed the door and locked it as fast as I could. I ran into the kitchen and grabbed the biggest knife that I had. Then I called the police. 15 minutes felt like 15 hours as I was hiding in the kitchen, expecting the people in the mask to break down the door at any moment. When the police finally arrived, the strangers were long gone. I filed a police report, but because they were wearing masks and completely covered their skin with clothing, my description was basically useless. The only evidence I really had was a surveillance video that was taken from my front door camera. Despite handing it to the police, they were still unable to find them. I can't stop thinking about it ever since. I installed a chain lock for my door and got a security system with an alarm and a better camera pointed at my porch. Despite that, it's been difficult to sleep. Even though my wife says that they would be stupid to come back, I still can't relax knowing they're still out there. They could return anywhere at any time, and I'll never have any warning. This story was inspired by a disturbing Halloween incident where three people who dressed as trick-or-treaters were carrying out home invasions and armed robbery. The NYPD says it happened just after 10.30 p.m. on Halloween in the Sheepshed Bay section of Brooklyn. Police say that a male and female wearing costumes and carrying trick-or-treat bags knocked on a 37-year-old man's door and said, trick-or-treat. The man opened the door and gave them candy but the male pulled out a firearm and tried to force his way into the home. The female walked down the stairs and out of the fenced-in yard. As the victim struggled to keep the masked man out, a second male ran up to the door and also tried to push his way past the victim. They allegedly hit the victim in the face repeatedly during the incident. After a brief period of time, the victim managed to push both of them out of his home and lock the door. The males then took off on foot, 
the NYPD released a security camera recording of the incident in hopes that someone could identify the robbers. There was no information on injuries to the homeowner. Oh my god. Imagine that. Imagine like some like older people dressed up in masks and whatever like just try to get in your home. Whatever. Especially on Halloween. Sorry guys. Um, especially on Halloween, like, that's, that's scary, like, literally. So, that's why in the future I'm gonna install some security cameras for the, the house. So, just in case, you know. Anyway, let's continue. This is the last one, this is the last one. Here we go. Hopefully it's the scariest. McDonald's Night Shift Store. Oh, this is the last. Oh, this is the previous one that I watched off camera. Oh, okay. Okay. So we're gonna see what what happens after this left off here. Okay. Because I remember the. Hi, may I take your order? Or should I say, trick or treat? Yeah, I'll take 20 Big Macs and 5 large Cokes. Uh, is this for a party or something? Yeah, it's for the 1 million subscriber horror shorts party. Now make my breakfast, dipshit! It was the fall of 2020 when I just started working at my local McDonald's. I worked there since the summer ended, and everything about the gig was lame, repetitive, and boring. I barely had any time off, and even worked there on weekends because my boss would schedule me a lot. That, where I would often take my co-worker shifts, just because everyone at the McDonald's used me since I was the new kid on the block. But Halloween was approaching soon, and there was no way in hell I was going to work that day. I intended on giving candy and chilling out that night. Yep. So I made sure to book off Halloween in advance. Unfortunately, like, I have, like, unfortunately, I have to work on Halloween today. I, 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 I was gonna take it off, but I told, you know, uh, my boss and my girl friend that I told them I wasn't gonna do that because you know I'd, I'd rather save up my vacation days I'd rather save up my sick time so that's why I didn't take it off so that why I would often take my co-worker shifts just because everyone at the McDonald's used me since I was the new kid on the block but Halloween was approaching soon and there was no way in hell I was going to work that day I intended on giving candy and chilling out that night so I made sure to book off Halloween in advance. When it was finally Halloween night, I gave out candy to a bunch of kids. Trick or treat! There you go. I remember the streets were packed as hell. It seemed like there were a lot more trick or treaters out this night than the previous Halloweens. I eventually ran out of candy again. So I blew out my jack-o'-lantern and turned off my porch lights. Then I went to watch TV in my living room. A few hours went by and then something strange happened. I heard a loud ass knock on my door. It was a bit alarming as the knock sounded like someone was actually slamming their fists on my door. I got up and How went to check the people. That? That's when I oddly saw my coworker Trevor standing outside my door. Dude, why the hell are you knocking so loud on my door at three in the morning? Dude, why the hell are you knocking so loud on my door at three in the morning? Dude, are you on that Colombian again? No, nothing like that, man. I just wanted to tell you the news. Did you hear that the boss is giving out free burgers for Halloween? What? What are you even talking about? He said he just needs enough meat to make the burgers. Dude, I know what you're trying to do. Just take my shift, damn it! I'm not taking your shift! Today is my day off! Halloween is my day off! I want to Netflix and chill by myself! So get the hell off my property before I call the cops! Please, please, dude, I'm begging you. I'll give you my whole paycheck. Just please take my shift. Fine. I'll be there in a few minutes. God damn it! Why the hell am I... Ser seriously, if I had seen, like, one of my coworkers, just, like, you know, especially if I was working McDonald's, of course, 
Like, I wouldn't do that. Like, literally, if it, if it was my day off, I, I'd be like, screw you, dude. I don't want to be working your shift. So, like, literally, like, leave me alone. I want I want to just take time myself. You know, that's already what I what I I I, I would have done if I was working McDonald's. I swear to God. You're working alone on Halloween night. This is stupid and ridiculous. I shouldn't have to be here. I should be at home watching horror movies, having a day off, not slaving away at McDonald's like these other idiots. I need to put my foot down next time. Hello! Is anybody there? Yeah, hello. Welcome to McDonald's. May I take your order? Treat good treats. <laughs> Very funny, sir. May I take your order now? I said. Trick or treat. Dude, Halloween is over. Now I'm gonna ask you one more time. May I please take your order? One whopper, please. Uh, this isn't Burger King, bitch! <sighs> hey, idiot! Go home and Uber Eats! You clearly don't know how to... What the hell? No, 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 this can't be happening. Shit! <sighs> He's not picking up. Oh my god. What the hell do you want from me? I will give them that, like, literally. Because they just uploaded this, like, what, like an hour ago? Oh, man. Oh. Those animations scared the crap out of me, I swear to God. Oh. Oh. Oh, my God. I literally got the chills. But anyway, hope you guys really enjoyed this, um... Uh, leave a like. Also, if you guys are new to the channel, I appreciate you guys subscribing, and I will see you guys all in the ne in the next video. Bye bye.